Ever wondered how many bacteria call your mouth their home? It's a startling fact, but our mouths are teeming with them. We're talking about billions of bacteria, folks, making a cozy little ecosystem right there in your oral cavity. Neglecting oral hygiene doesn't just give these bacteria free reign, it can lead to various dental issues from cavities to gum disease. Now doesn't that make you eager to learn how to maintain a clean and healthy mouth? Stick around to find out how to evict these unwelcome guests from your mouth. Oral hygiene is more than just maintaining a bright smile. It is a critical part of our overall health that often goes unnoticed. What we often fail to realize is the impact it can have on our general well-being. Poor oral hygiene isn't just about facing embarrassment due to bad breath or yellow teeth, it's a doorway to a myriad of health issues that can affect us in more ways than we can imagine. Imagine your mouth as a bustling city, home to hundreds of different bacteria. Majority of these are harmless, even beneficial. But when oral hygiene is neglected, harmful bacteria can run rampant, leading to common dental problems such as cavities, gum disease, and bad breath. Cavities or tooth decay are one of the most common health problems worldwide. They occur when bacteria, food, and saliva combine to form plaque that clings to your teeth and produces acids that can eat away tooth enamel. Gum disease, on the other hand, is an inflammation of the gum line that can progress to affect the bone that surrounds and supports your teeth. The early stage of gum disease is known as gingivitis, which, if left untreated, can advance to periodontitis, a much more serious condition that can lead to tooth loss. And then there's bad breath, which can be a social deterrent and a sign of underlying oral health problems. Now that you understand the importance of oral hygiene, we will guide you on how to maintain it. Your toothbrush is your first line of defense against bacteria. It's the unsung hero in your battle against tooth decay, gum disease, and that dreaded dragon breath. But are you utilizing this tool to its full potential? Let's start with the basics, the toothbrush. It's not just about grabbing the first one you see off the shelf. You want to choose a toothbrush with soft bristles that can get into those nooks and crannies to remove plaque without damaging your gums. A small to medium-sized head is usually best for reaching all areas of the mouth. Next, we have the toothpaste. Fluoride is your friend here. It helps to strengthen tooth enamel and reduce your risk of decay. But don't go overboard. A pea-sized amount of toothpaste is more than enough to do the job. Now let's talk technique. You want to hold your toothbrush at a 45-degree angle to your gums and use short back-and-forth strokes on all surfaces of your teeth. Don't forget the back. Those hard-to-reach teeth are prime real estate for bacteria. And how long should you brush? The magic number is two minutes, not one, not three, two. That's the sweet spot for effective brushing without overdoing it. And while we're on the subject, don't be a brushing sprinter. Slow and steady wins the race here. Frequency is also key. Brush at least twice a day, morning and night. This helps to remove the plaque that builds up overnight and freshens your breath for the day ahead. But remember, brushing is not a solo act. It's part of a team effort in your oral hygiene routine. Think of it as the lead singer in your band of oral care. It might take the spotlight, but it can't make beautiful music without the rest of the band. So there you have it, the ins and outs of effective brushing. Remember, your toothbrush is your ally in the fight against oral issues. Choose it wisely, use it well, and it will serve you faithfully in your quest for a healthy, gleaming smile. Brushing your teeth is just the beginning of your oral hygiene routine. Flossing is a step many of us skip, but it's crucial for complete oral hygiene. Yes, brushing your teeth twice a day is important, but it's just part of the equation. Flossing plays a key role in maintaining a healthy mouth and keeping those pearly whites shining. Imagine your teeth as a castle, and the food particles and plaque as invaders. Now, your toothbrush is like the castle guards defending the front gates. But what about the hidden passageways and secret tunnels? That's where flossing comes in. By flossing you're reaching those areas that your toothbrush can't, effectively completing the defense of your oral castle. But what's the correct way to floss, you may ask? Well it's simple. Start with about 18 inches of floss, wind most of it around your middle fingers leaving about 2 inches to work with. Hold the floss tight between your thumbs and index fingers, slide it gently up and down between your teeth. Curve the floss around each tooth, making sure you go beneath the gum line, but be gentle, you don't want to harm your gums. Now let's talk about the types of floss. There are primarily two types, nylon and PTFE. Nylon floss, or multi-filament floss, is made up of many strands of nylon. It's affordable, and comes in waxed and unwaxed versions. However, it can sometimes shred or tear, especially between tight teeth. 
On the other hand, PTFE, or monofilament floss, is made from a single strand. It's slightly more expensive, but it slides easily between teeth and is less likely to tear. Both types are effective, so it's really a matter of preference and what works best for your teeth. Choosing the right floss can feel overwhelming with all the options available. Waxed, unwaxed, flavored, unflavored, wide, thin, the list goes on. But don't let this deter you. Experiment with different types until you find the one that suits your needs and preferences. Remember, your oral hygiene routine isn't complete without flossing. So the next time you reach for your toothbrush, remember to also grab your floss. Your teeth will thank you. Mouthwash isn't just for fresh breath, it's a key player in your oral hygiene routine. It's a secret weapon that helps to combat tooth decay, gum disease, and other oral health problems. But how do we use it correctly, and how do we choose the right one? First, let's dive into why mouthwash is so important. Mouthwash is like a liquid toothbrush, reaching areas that your toothbrush and floss might miss. It helps to remove food particles, bacteria, and plaque, and it can even help to whiten your teeth. It's like having a mini dental hygienist in your bathroom cabinet. Now, on to how to use it. After brushing and flossing, pour a capful of mouthwash into your mouth. Swish it around for about 30 seconds, making sure it reaches all corners of your mouth. Then spit it out. Avoid swallowing it, as some ingredients aren't meant to be ingested. And remember, don't rinse your mouth with water immediately after. You want to let the mouthwash do its job. Choosing the right mouthwash can feel overwhelming with so many options out there. There are two main types, cosmetic and therapeutic. Cosmetic mouthwashes are great for freshening breath and reducing bad mouth odors. Therapeutic mouthwashes, on the other hand, contain active ingredients that help fight plaque, gingivitis, and cavities. If you're just looking for a fresh breath boost, a cosmetic mouthwash will do the trick. But if you're aiming for a comprehensive oral care routine, a therapeutic mouthwash is your best bet. Always look for one that carries the American Dental Association's seal of acceptance. This means it's been rigorously tested for safety and effectiveness. And remember, mouthwash is a supplement to brushing and flossing, not a replacement. It's like the cherry on top of your oral hygiene sundae, adding that extra layer of protection against oral health issues. With mouthwash, you're one step closer to a bacteria-free mouth, so let's raise a capful to a clean, healthy smile. Congratulations, you're now well-equipped to maintain a healthy and clean mouth. We've journeyed through the essential steps to ensure that your oral hygiene is top-notch. So let's recap, shall we? First, we discuss the importance of brushing your teeth. Remember, it's not just about doing it, but doing it right. Use a soft bristle toothbrush and fluoride toothpaste. Brush for a full two minutes, making sure to reach every corner of your mouth. And don't forget to replace your toothbrush every three to four months or sooner if the bristles are frayed. Next, we dove into the world of flossing. As simple as it might seem, Flossing plays a pivotal role in dislodging food particles and plaque your toothbrush can't reach. Make it a daily routine, preferably before bedtime, to clean between your teeth and keep those gum diseases at bay. Then, we explored the benefits of using mouthwash. It's the final step in your oral hygiene routine, giving your mouth that fresh, clean feeling. It's like a safety net, catching any leftover bacteria that brushing and flossing may have missed. But maintaining a healthy mouth doesn't stop here. Regular dental checkups are key. Your dentist can spot potential issues early and provide professional cleaning. It's recommended to visit your dentist at least twice a year. And let's not forget about our diet. Limit sugary foods and drinks that can lead to tooth decay. Opt for a balanced diet full of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains to keep your teeth and gums healthy. In the end, it all boils down to consistency. Brush, floss, rinse, and repeat. Make these steps a part of your everyday routine and you'll be well on your way to a healthier, brighter smile. Remember, a clean mouth is a happy mouth. Take care of it and it will take care of you.